that you are about to see is presented by Compact Disc Technologies. Hello there and welcome to the program. Huge strides have been made by modern technology in the field of sound recording in the past 20 years. In a relatively short space of time, we've had the record, the audio tape in the reel-to-reel -reel and cassette forms, and now the compact disc, or CD, which has boosted the quality of sound to almost perfect levels. No more do we have to endure the old scratch on a record or hiss on a tape. These days, digital recordings are faithfully transferred to the disc and crystal clear sound is the result. Well, today we look at the way in which CDs are produced. So let's go straight into the factory for a look. Music, which has been recorded overseas as well as in this country, is sent to the factory on a metal disc known as the mother disc. From this, a stamper disc, which is an exact mirror image of the mother disc, is made. Conditions are rigidly controlled as dust could cause an inferior product. The compact disc making machine is very modern, featuring high-tech robotic operation, with people present only to program the computers and oversee the operation. The stamper disc, perfectly clean, is placed into a special mold and the manufacturing process is ready to begin. CDs are made from polycarbonate plastic, which is fed into the machine in pellet form. As it passes through the extruder barrel, it's heated to a temperature of over 300 degrees Celsius and melts to form a liquid. A precise amount of liquid is forced into the mold under pressure and forms into the shape of the disc. The stamper disc imprints a specific pattern of indentations onto the disc, which is cooled and solidifies. The disc is completely see-through and is ready to pass into the stage which will provide the unique magic of compact discs. A thin layer of aluminium is attached to the disc. This will cause the laser beam, projected by the player, to be reflected back through the disc and to the player. As the light beam meets the indentations in the disc, it's reflected. The returning beam is converted into millivolts of electricity as it's picked up by the player with the amount of voltage being regulated by the size of each indentation in the disc. The more light is diffused, the lower the voltage, and this variation in voltage is converted to sound by your hi-fi system. It's a pretty complicated but ingenious design. Let's have a look at the next process. In order to protect the aluminium layer, the disc is coated with lacquer, which spreads evenly as the disc is spun at high speed. The next stage is to apply the titles and artwork to the disc. This too is highly automated, with the three primary colours, red, blue and yellow, being applied and mixing to form greens, oranges and other colours. The titling is done in black and the very attractive completed discs are ready to go out to the shops. In order to keep each disc free of fingerprints and other markings, the discs are never handled, even at the packing stage. This incredible machine inserts the cover, the little information book that's so useful and interesting and has become a standard extra, and finally places the disc into its container and closes it firmly. Well, humans are allowed to participate a little. The CDs are stacked together and put into boxes by hand, ready to go out into the marketplace. The disc itself is very sturdy and constructed to last and to retain the recorded sound for a very long time, if properly cared for. By using the very best state-of-the-art equipment, South African companies are able to produce discs of excellent quality, in fact, as good as those found in the rest of the world. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed today's program. Join us again next week for another program in the series. See you then. The program that you have just seen was presented by Compact Disc Technologies.